Everyone dreams of saying I do to the perfect husband, having a grand wedding, and living happily ever after. But rarely do we think the fairy tale wedding we dreamt of will end up as a front page headline of Tinseltown tabloids. In this series, we explore the rise and fall of Hollywood's greatest romances and how the most blissful marriages ended in divorce riddled with scandal. The Glamour Files presents Hollywood Divorce. During the 1940s, one of Hollywood's most prominent leading men and formidable tough guy actors, Humphrey Bogart, was at the height of his acting and film career when he played Detective Sam Spade in one of the great noir films in 1941's The Maltese Falcon. However, in his personal life, he was in trouble. At home, Bogart engaged in fights and regularly endured daily spousal abuse from his then erratic actress wife, Mayo Method. The shocking incidents and allegations surrounding the legendary battling Bogart's personal life had more twists and turns than a legendary classic noir movie. So how did Humphrey Bogart find himself in a toxic marriage ending in a scandalous Hollywood divorce? Stay tuned to find out more. Humphrey Bogey Bogart was known for films like The Maltese Falcon in 1941, considered one of Hollywood's first great noir films, and starred in Casablanca in 1942 and The Big Sleep in 1946, where he played the iconic detective, Philip Marlowe. One? I didn't know there was a usual one. Oh, sure there is. It comes complete with diagrams on page 47 of How to Be a Detective. During the 1930s, Bogart was not yet a star. Still a struggling minor Warner Brothers actor who never received top billing and was stereotyped in early gangster and cowboy movies as a sneering, lousy guy, invariably gunned down in the final film reel. Around this time, Mayo Method was an accomplished Broadway actress who moved to Hollywood looking to transition to film and eventually signed a contract with Warner Brothers. Before Bogart and Method met, they were both recently divorced. Bogart from another actress and Method from an oil tycoon. Humphrey Bogart and Mayo Method were reeling from their marriages, and deep down they were looking for companions. Bogart and Method first met on the set of The Marked Woman in 1937 and became romantically involved. As a new couple, they were photographed together and attended Hollywood press events and within time, Bogart and Method married in Beverly Hills, California on August 28th of 1938. Quote, One of the things that attracted Bogart to Mayo instantly was the fact that she could make him laugh, and he loved to laugh. The couple had lots of good times together, and whenever you saw them, they were just enjoying themselves, unquote. But they were passionate about more than just each other. It was no secret that the two enjoyed hitting the bottle for a good time by this point. They seemed to be happily married by all accounts, and two years after marrying Bogart, Mayo Method gave up acting in films to become a housewife and cater to Bogart. They purchased a home on Shoreman Drive in Los Angeles and settled into married life. Eventually, Bogart and Method became a high-profile Hollywood couple. Together, they spent time on their yacht and attended Hollywood premieres and many parties. But beneath the surface, there were red flags early on in their marriage. Somehow, Bogart's relationship with Method shifted from domestic bliss to all-out war. Bogart and Method battled addiction, violence, and career issues, profoundly affecting their relationship. Method struggled with severe alcoholism, and Bogart picked up the same bad habit of drinking as a teenager. Bogart and Method were two addicts who often got entangled in a web of drunken nights, love, passion, and heated arguments. Method gained a terrible reputation for her violent excess when under the influence. The drinking started after Method was relegated to side characters and unsympathetic malls in Hollywood, which had nothing to do with her actual acting ability, which was greatly electrifying. Still, the studios didn't want her in lead roles because the film stock made her appear older than what she was. To cope, Mayo Method turned to the bottle. Around this time, work-wise for Bogart, the studio system largely restricted actors to one studio. Warner Brothers had no interest in making Bogart a star. Any actor who refused a role could be suspended without pay. 
Bogart did not like the roles chosen for him even though he was working steadily between 1936 and 1940. Bogart averaged a movie every two months but did not get the roles he wanted. Methods drinking and Bogart's career issues filled their arguments. The press ate up their brawls and debauchery in Hollywood, dubbing them the battling Bogarts. Numerous arguments erupted. Battles plagued the couple. They nicknamed their home Sluggy Hollow. According to Roy Whiting, author of, quote, Sluggy Bogey's Other Baby, quote, there was no denying that the pressure of their jobs of being in the spotlight took a toll on them individually as well as their relationship, unquote. Quote, documents suggested that Humphrey hit Mayo, but she hit him back. Alcohol fed into their frustrations and their passions negatively. Mayo was notorious for pushing Bogart's buttons. In one instance, Method and Bogart hit one another with whiskey bottles. Even in front of friends, they could not hide their problems. Gloria Stewart, a friend of Bogart and Method, recalls attending a dinner party at which Method, who was drunk, brandished a pistol and threatened to shoot Bogart. Stewart also recalled seeing Method with bruises on her face on several occasions and witnessing physical fights between the couple in which Bogart tore Method's dress off her body. Then in public, the pair were caught drunkenly firing guns in the middle of the night during a World War II USO tour. By the summer of 1938, the Bogart Method marriage was, quote, the sequel to the Civil War. They would fight and make up over and over again. Bogart described Method as, quote, a lively, friendly woman when sober, but paranoid and aggressive when drunk. Method was convinced Bogart wasn't faithful to her, even though Bogart bought a motor yacht called Sluggy, his nickname for Method. Bogart admitted to being attracted to Method's firecracker personality, he said, quote, I like a jealous wife. We get on so well together because we don't have illusions about each other. I wouldn't give you two cents for a dame without a temper, unquote. One day, Method stabbed Bogart in the shoulder, but luckily, the publicity department at Warner Brothers kept the incident out of the press. Bogart's friend Louise Brooks, a fellow actress, said that, quote, except for Leslie Howard, no one contributed much to Humphrey's success than his third wife, Mayo Method, unquote. Despite comments from friends, Method's influence was increasingly destructive and Bogart continued to drink heavily. Life changed for Bogart in 1941 when he starred in the acclaimed High Sierra film and began to win leading roles in major movies. While Bogart's career was on the rise, Method was on the way down. After Method attempted suicide in 1943, Bogart urged her to visit a psychiatrist and upon doing so, she was diagnosed with paranoid schizophrenia. Method argued with Bogart, was violent, and threw plants, cookware, and other household items at Bogart constantly. Throughout their marriage, Mayo Method feared Bogart cheating. Her fears eventually came true when Bogart met 19-year-old Lauren Betty Pacall while filming To Have and Have Not in 1944. Soon, Bogart started to spend more time working and Method's drinking worsened. As their marriage went downward, Bogart spent less time at home and more time with his co-star Lauren Bacall. It did not take Bogart, married at the time, long for him to become smitten with Lauren Bacall. However, Lauren Bacall did not like Bogart's advances. After all, he was 25 years older than her, and not to mention, Bogart had a reputation for drinking. However, one day, Bogart decided to kiss Lauren Bacall, and her outlook on him changed. The couple's romance started to bloom. The pair exchanged telephone numbers and got to know each other through heartfelt love letters. Bogart started to express his love openly and in abundance by writing to Bacall. However, when Bogart told Bacall that she was the love of his life, Bogart started to drift further away from his marriage to Method. Method caught wind of Bogart's affair, flew into a rage, and stormed onto the film set to see what was going on for herself. Bogart attempted to save his marriage with Method, but Method's alcoholism intensified, as did their fighting. Method slowly ruined her relationship with Bogart when one evening, while their house was ablaze, Method stabbed Bogart with a knife and repeatedly slashed her wrists. But Bogart wasn't without fault. Bogart egged Method on, sometimes enjoying the arguments and confrontation. He too was occasionally violent. 
The Hollywood press and tabloids couldn't get enough of the battling Bogarts, but as far as the Bogarts were concerned, their marriage was hanging on by a thread, and the couple separated several times throughout the marriage. Finally, after Bogart and Method's numerous reconciliations throughout the fall of 1944, Bogart moved out on December 3, 1944, and Bogart announced that he had moved out of their home for the second time and final time. When Method realized Bogart had shifted for good to Lauren Bacall, Mayo Method was heartbroken and still in love despite their tumultuous marriage. She said, quote, What can I do? Method lamented in the American Weekly. He tells me he won't come home. It becomes a habit to love Bogey, a hard habit to break. Unquote. Method filed for divorce from Bogart in May of 1945, and the divorce was granted one hour after she filed. Bogart and Method's Hollywood divorce spread through town like wildfire, but many friends were not surprised. That same month, Bogart quickly married Lauren Bacall on May 21st in 1945. After the divorce, Method retreated from the public for several months and then started to exhibit odd behavior, still longing for her relationship with Bogart. Method spent a period at the Melbar Farm State Park, the location of Bogart and Bacall's wedding. During the summer of 1945, Mayo Method attempted to resume her stage career, but her battle with alcoholism got the best of her. Humphrey Bogart had a successful and stable marriage to Bacall, fathered two children, and continued to experience growth in his career, starring in multiple films with his wife Lauren Bacall like Dark Passage in 1947 and Key Largo in 1948. Bogart started his own film company called Santana Productions, allowing him to go on to make numerous films. Bogart and Bacall had a unique arrangement, an open marriage, which was uncommon in the 1940s. Despite their age difference and affairs with other people, their marriage lasted until Bogart died of esophageal cancer in 1957. After attempting to restart her career and a soiled reputation within the press during the 1940s, she could not rebound in Hollywood. Method's addiction and split from Bogart effectively ended her acting career. Mayo Method moved home to Oregon to care for her mother. Method passed away in 1951 from acute alcoholism. After her death in 1951, Humphrey Bogart had flowers regularly sent to Mayo's Oregon crypt. They stopped arriving in 1957, the year of Bogart's own passing. To this day, the events leading to Humphrey Bogart and Mayo Method's Hollywood divorce make them one of the most scandalous, tumultuous couples to grace the silver screen in Hollywood history. Today, Humphrey Bogart's marriage and divorce from Mayo Method is as problematic in many ways as it is legendary, and their case will be added to the Hollywood divorce files. So there you have it. What did you think about Humphrey Bogart's Hollywood divorce from Mayo Method? Did your favorite couple make it into the Hollywood divorce files? We'd love to hear your thoughts about what A-list pair we should include in the show's next episode. Leave a comment below. If you haven't already done so, please like this video, click the bell to stay up to date on our upcoming videos, and subscribe. Also, join us on Instagram, TikTok, and Meta for more content. For more information on Humphrey Bogart's life and career, check out the various film, book, and memorabilia links below. Until next time, this is Hollywood Divorce.